All right, let's move on to our last final story. Speaking of James Gunn, the show that's taken over the streaming services of them all, it's Peacemaker, which is now everyone's favorite superhero. Every single person says, I've always I have always known who Peacemaker is, and I've always been a fan of Peacemaker. Um, there is actually a new Peacemaker comic that came out. It's called Keeping the Peace. Uh, I have not read it. But uh, DC is advertising it like crazy on my Twitter feed. So, so whether I might read it just because, I mean, just enough ads, might, I might actually get the whole story. But here's the thing. Peacemaker, though, for real, guys. And this, is, this isn't based on a new story. I think this is just me talking because I want to talk about Peacemaker with you. But Peacemaker is, is the bi- number one show being streamed in the world right now. The whole world is uh, – well, maybe last week Boba Fett might have taken over. But it was beating Boba Fett and everything. So Peacemaker is is a a bona fide superhero now. Like he's he's up to, like he is um he's I'd say a household name at this point for adults. Anyway, could you see Peacemaker either a joining the Justice League in some capacity, or could Warner Brothers say, "Hey, let's have John Cena come back as Peacemaker." They want season two, obviously. Season two is happening, but could John Cena as Peacemaker lead? A suicide squad. I don't see it doing it in the uh, Justice League at all. Um, it doesn't quite fit in with their uh, MO, so to speak. I uh, could definitely see them tying into Suicide Squad. And depending on if they get any of the returning people from the suicide, the second Suicide Squad movie to see how they would trust him, to see how they would accept him as the new de facto leader. Um, I could buy that, but I, just, I don't see him in the Justice League at all. Scott, before you respond, I just here's why I, I bring up the Justice League, and I don't think so either. But his character is changing in the show, and he could be a, val- a valuable asset to the Justice League. He's still future. a giant douche. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> He's too dumb. To, like he'd have to be PG rated to join the Justice League. But Scotty, where do you stand? John Cena's out here just invisibly walking to the <laughs> bank. Nobody can see him cashing all these checks. It's crazy. Uh, but no, like. I have caught up on, I think I'm all caught up on the show and I'm not shocked. He's great. I liked him in train wreck. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, with Amy Schumer, but he plays like a closet homosexual, like beefcake kind of character. And he plays it so well. He's he overshadows everybody in everything that he's in. In my opinion, he's kind of one of those people. Like I compare him to the rock. Can't really do that much wrong. Honestly. Um, Peacemaker is a very controversial character, though, because of his background and stuff. And I think that's another reason why people love this character, because of his depth and, like, the relationship with his dad. His dad's a freaking psychopath. I love it. I can't say enough about it. Okay. The The story is very niche as far as, like, the material. So I'm kind of really surprised that that's, like, landing with a lot of people. Yeah. Because it's a hard topic to kind of talk around. But... When you got guys like the vigilante and how they can just bring everybody back down to like, yes, you 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 stink too, just like the rest of us. And this is kind of funny. Do you think we're going to get another Suicide Squad movie? Either of you after the first one being the first one and then the Suicide Squad not performing crazy at the box office. I think it's HBO Max numbers were really good, but at the box office, it didn't do much. Do you think maybe, and if they did a third one, maybe they should just call it Task Force X, and maybe they would like not um, piss people off with a name because it is kind of a controversial name. Yeah, is yeah. it? Because I feel like there's so many Suicide Squad teams. I feel like the in the comics they even change multiple times. And um, I, dude, seriously, if you can start to establish true like super villains that are like true members of a suicide squad not just one-offs getting killed in the first movie that's how you build up another justice league versus suicide squad and have your own kind of secret wars type of thing going on but yeah man start to cast more people like john cena that can own the role dude never takes the uniform off i mean (laughs) he literally wears it on the red carpet so you need fans and that's why it's like it blows my mind with the henry cavill stuff like if anyone wants to be a superman for life it's that guy. Yeah. I think 
the scarecrow in the Nolan movies is per not him specifically, but that idea where he was a character that kept showing up in all three of them. You have something like that, who's a big bad in one, doesn't die, gets captured, pokes his head in and out here and there, and then all of a sudden Amanda Waller's like, bomb in your head, go to work. That yeah, you're right. The problem with mm -hmm. that though, guys, Steve is is you have to have a plan, and someone has to, and someone there needs to be an Amanda Waller at Warner Brothers DC making those decisions, bringing things forward like that. Yeah, they do need they they need a overarching plan. We keep hearing things too about like the um the Green Lantern projects. Yeah, like come on, man. There you is gotta, like. There's rumor that we're going to get something about that after Peacemaker. They're going to win out. But I don't like. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I, yeah, that I don't show care. and that stuff, though, I feel like they're going to do right because they're going to start with the core, like out in the universe somewhere, introduce the characters. But yeah, it's tough, man. They're they're playing a lot of catch up, and so I feel like they're trying to fast track a lot of their multiversal. And if I really feel like every single movie they've been coming out with is a reset, mm -hmm. like Birds of Prey reset harley quinn and joker's relationship suicide squad literally reset the old suicide squad now you have a flashpoint movie that's going to reset all of those universes <laughs> yeah it's... Uh, yeah yeah that's where we're at right now and that's why i think john uh peacemaker needs to join the justice league can you imagine for some reason he needs to join the justice league and they trust him even less than suicide squad did but He's trying to be better, and then it ends with him like blowing someone's head off, and then they put him right back in prison. Justice League Two, Peacemaker. Well, it's like the uh, evil Justice League. You know what I mean? When when Superman goes crazy, maybe they got to get people like Peacemaker. Yeah. The video game is based on them killing Superman. So yeah, hey. Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, I think they need to. That game's been delayed a year. They need Ooh. to incorporate Peacemaker into that game. He needs oh, yeah. To be either in it, like just redo <laughs> it and put him in there, or DLC, DLC. Peacemaker. All day. Yeah, you're, <laughs> they're losing, yeah, they're losing out on money with that. But you put, because they have a Deadshot, King Shark, Captain Boomerang, yep. and Harley Quinn. Great. But yeah. Peacemaker right now, you got to cash in on them. Cash in on them all you can. Because season yeah, two, they they're going to do season two, but it might not, people might not be drawn to it because the shock value won't be there, right? It won't be like, what's this? It's everyone will know what it is. And season two is going to be what it is. The uh, Suicide Squad is... I forgot what I was just going to say, too. We were talking about the video game. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Suicide yeah. Squad is like Mortal Kombat, where the we all know the characters, but they're starting to introduce people like Jason and Freddy. And, like, yeah. you know, so <laughs> the Suicide Squad is a very open, open definition of who yeah. belongs on the team. So, yeah, you can just it's... Yeah, yep. throw in yep. whoever you want and do whatever you want. All right, we're going to wrap it up right here. We're going over time. Do you guys have anything else you want to say before we leave? No. Anything you guys want to anything you want to plug before we leave? <laughs> Steve, your YouTube channel? <laughs> My non-existent YouTube channel, yeah. Uh, no, I got no shameless plugs for me. <laughs> I'll plug myself. I'm out here trying to do my YouTube thing. It's Hawks Holocrons. I've been streaming a lot of Tarkov lately, gaming, but I'm getting into doing the solo streams and actually talking about Star Wars more because that's what that channel really is. And on that channel, I have links to all of my other socials. I do a lot of wire wrapping. That's kind of like what I do with my, my spare time now and own a small business. Some cool shiny crystals if anybody wants to check it out. Get some crystals and you could be Thanos and rule the galaxy. Yes. Or take Infinity them all at the, the blip. Yeah. There you go. But check out Hot Talk. You always had really cool Star Wars theories on there. And you had a really good Boba Fett discussion. Thanks, Rez. Rez says, great show. But also, Disney Desi has the answer to who the villain of the Flash movie is. Bam! And on that note, we are going to say <laughs> goodbye Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, whatever. You know, all that right. stuff. Do the YouTube things, Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah, do the YouTube stuff. I'm going to play this little video going out. It's going to be boring. But when I play it, uh, let's not talk because our mics will be hot. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. Until next time, uh, may you be the master of your own uh, universe.